Hello. Today I'm going to show you my favorite way of converting a color image into black and white. This conversion is created using Photoshop and is both simple and effective. After selecting the image I want to convert, I just follow a few steps. But just to show you what the options are, let's first take the most typical way. Most folks will go into Image, Mode, and Grayscale, which simply eliminates all the color information. Just like that. But I'm going to show you a way to do this more effectively because you can control the dynamic range of your photograph. The same image again. And what I would suggest you do is go into Image, Mode, and change it to Lab Color. Now what this does is it separates the image into its brightness and luminance values separate from its color values. So now when we go into Image, Mode, and Grayscale, we have literally thrown away only color information. All the detail is still there. We convert it back to RGB mode because that's where everything needs to be for printing. And we have a nice color, color to black and white conversion at this point, but we need to make it pop a little more. Now, if we were to call up the levels command, this is what our histogram looks like. What I like to do is grab this highlight slider and move it just into the toe of the graph. You saw what happened there. It's kind of subtle, but the sky brightened and so did the brickwork a bit. The more dynamic change happens down here on the shadow end, where I take the shadow slider and move it significantly into the toe of the graph. Now while you're doing this, if you were to hold down the Alt key, the image will show you what, image it, what pixels you're losing. Every pixel that's represented by that image right now is now going to be totally and pure black. And if you let go, you can see your results. But we don't want that. We want a more subtle effect where we're blocking up some of the shadow area to give it a little bit of contrast. About like that. Now we have a picture that has some good tonal range from black, uh, dark blacks into bright whites, but we want to make the midtones kind of pop out. In particular, these gray areas here, just a little too dominant. So we take this mid-tone slider and we move it more toward the shadow side and look what happens. We get back some snap into the picture. We've taken the uh, mid-tones and brightened them up. We've retained the dark shadowy areas here with some nice inky blacks and we have some nice bright clean whites. So for comparison, look at this. A simple grayscale conversion from a JPEG file or the lab mode conversion. And what's significant? Let's look at the detail right here and compare that to there. We've still got detail up here into the shadow areas where this has just gone black. The metalwork is a nice uh, gray here that doesn't give us much interest. The metalwork here has gone into more of a tonal area that's giving us detail, interest, and texture. The te this technique is pretty easy and effective as you can see. For other fast and easy tips, check out our other techniques on Porter's channel or on the Porter's website at www.porters.com.